Hello and welcome to Real Time Signals. In today's session, we'll be discussing about what is cloud computing and its services. So, what is cloud computing? Cloud computing is a general term used to describe a new class of network-based computing that takes place over the internet. In addition, the platform provides on-demand services that are always on, anywhere, anytime, and any place. And it is also pay for use and as needed elastic, so that you can scale up and scale down in capacity and functionalities. The hardware and software services are available to general public, enterprises, corporations, and business markets. There are two types of cloud computing. The first one is public cloud. It is for the public access. Anyone can access it and it is based on pricing factor. And the second one is private cloud. It is for the personal access and cannot be accessed by anyone. Example, Facebook database is kept in its private cloud. Cloud service models. The first one is software as a service where the software is presented to the end user on a demand, usually on a browser and it targets end users. And the second model is platform as a service where it provides a development platform with a set of services assist on cloud and it targets developers. And the third model is infrastructure as a service where it virtualizes computing power, storage and network connectivity and it targets developers and IT ops. The top cloud computing service providers are Amazon Web Services, Google, Salesforce, IBM, Zoho, Microsoft and many more. For cloud computing, we provide session on Amazon Web Services due to its scalability and easily available for all types of users. There are different services provided by AWS like servers, networking, storage, remote computing, mobile, email, security and mobile development. When talking about certification level, we have associate as entry level and professional as experience level. When talking about Amazon Web Services history, it took over 10 years in making from 2006 to 16 and it was finalized. So most of the organizations are investing on AWS Cloud to boost organizational revenues. All of the Amazon Cloud products and solutions are mainly to build sophisticated applications with increased scalability, reliability and flexibility. The mission of the Amazon Web Services is to enable businesses and developers to use web services to build scalable, sophisticated applications. Amazon Web Services Solutions Architecture Amazon Web Services Certified Solutions Architect A professional AWS architect is someone who can evaluate an organization requirement and make architectural recommendations for implementing and deploying applications on AWS. What is Solution Architect 2? A Solution Architect is responsible for the design of one or more applications or services within an organization and is typically part of a solution development team. He or she must have a balanced mix of technical and business skills and will often work with an enterprise architect for the strategic direction. When talking about AWS certification, we have associate level and professional level. In associate level, we have solutions architect, certified developer and sysops administrator and in professional level we have devops engineer and solutions architect services handled by aws solution architect are compute storage database networking administration security management tools application services under compute we have the first service ec2 elastic compute cloud this are essentially just virtual machines inside the AWS platform. Yes, you can have a physical dedicated machines and a EC2. And the second service is light sale. So this is basically designed for people who just don't really want to understand anything about AWS and the underlying infrastructure. Light sale is a ready-made web development solution. The third service is Amazon ECS. Amazon Elastic container service is highly scalable fast container management service that makes it easy to run stop and manage docker containers on a cluster and the fourth service is amazon eks runs the kubernetes management infrastructure for you across multiple availability zones to eliminate a single point of failure and the fifth service is lambda lambda is a code that you upload to the cloud and then you control when it executes and you don't have to worry about 
any underlying physical or virtual machines and the sixth service is aws patch enables which enables developers scientists and engineers to easily and efficiently run hundreds of thousands of batch computing jobs on aws and the last service is elastic beanstalk aws elastic beanstalk is an easy to use service for deploying and scaling web applications and services deployed with java dotnet php node.js python etc you can simply upload your code and elastic beanstalk automatically handles the deployment under storage part we have s3 it's called simple storage service all three s's it's commonly referred to as s3 and this is object based storage basically you have this things called buckets and you upload your files into buckets that are in the cloud glacier data is stored in amazon glacier in archives an archive can be comprised of any data such as photos videos or documents you can upload a single file as an archive or aggregate multiple files storage gateway aws storage gateway is a hybrid storage service that enables your on premises applications to seamlessly use aws cloud storage our applications connect to the service through a virtual machine or hardware gateway appliance using standard storage protocol such as nfs smb and iscsi amazon efs amazon elastic file system provides a simple scalable elastic file system for linux based workloads for use with aws cloud services and on premises resources amazon efs is a fully managed services and the databases dynamo db amazon dynamo db is a key value in document database that delivers single bit millisecond performance at any scale dynamo db can handle more than 10 trillion requests per day and support peaks of more than 20 million requests per second RDS Amazon Relational Database Service provides cost efficient and resizable capacity while automatic time consuming administration tasks such as hardware provisioning database setup patching and backups it frees you to focus on your applications Amazon Redshift is a fully managed petabyte scale data warehouse service in the cloud you can start with just a few hundred gigabytes of data and scale to a petabyte or more Amazon Elastic Cache offers full managed Redis and Mem cached build data intensive apps or improve the performance of your existing apps by retrieving data from high throughput and low latency in memory data stores. Amazon Elastic Cache is a popular choice for gaming, ad tech, financial services, healthcare and IoT apps. Networking and VPC. VPC. VPC stands for Amazon Virtual Private Cloud. Basically think of the VPC as a virtual data center. CloudFront. CloudFront is basically Amazon's content delivery network for the remote users. Route 53 is Amazon's DNS service. DNS is very common term to convert name to IP and vice versa. Amazon API Gateway is a fully managed service that makes it easy for developers to create, publish, maintain, monitor and secure APIs at any scale. with a few clicks in the aws management console you can create an api that acts as a front door for applications to access data business logic or functionality from your backend services direct connect as a way of running basically a dedicated line from either your corporate head office or from your data center directly into amazon and it will directly connect to your pc administration and security hi am AWS Identity and Access Management is a web service that helps you securely control access to AWS resources. You use IAM to control who is authenticated to use resources. AWS Directory Service. AWS Managed Microsoft AD is built on actual Microsoft Active Directory and does not require to synchronize or replicate data from your existing Active Directory to the cloud. You can use standard Active Directory administration tools and take advantage of built-in Active Directory features such as group policy and single sign-on. Management and Governance CloudWatch Amazon CloudWatch is a monitoring and management service built for developers, system operators, site reliability engineers and IT managers. Auto-scaling Auto-scaling helps you to ensure that you have the correct number of Amazon EC2 instances available to handle the load for your application at peak hour 
automatically number of instances will increase and vice versa cloud formation cloud formation allows you to use a simple text file to model and provision in an automated and secure manner all the resources needed for your applications across all regions and account cloud trail with aws cloud trail simplify your compliance audits by automatically recording and storing event logs for actions made within your aws account integration with aid amazon cloud watch logs provides a convenient way to search through log data identify out of compliance events accelerate incident investigations and expedite responses to auditor requests application services amazon simple email service is a cloud based email sending service designed to help digital marketers and application developers send marketing notification and transactional emails it is reliable cost effective service for businesses of all sizes that use email to keep in contact with their customers Amazon SQS is a web service that gives you access to a message queue that can be used to store messages while waiting for a computer to process them. Amazon Simple workflow service is a web service that makes it easy to coordinate work across distributed application components. Amazon SWF enables applications for a range of use cases including media processing, web application backends, business process workflows and analytics pipeline to be designed as a coordination of task content of our test module 1 introduction getting started with aws in this module you can learn about the different projects and services of aws you can also understand the global infrastructure of aws the aws course module will also cover different types of ec2 instances and instance purchasing options the topics covered over here are introduction to cloud computing different aws projects and services setting up of the aws account aws global infrastructure and its benefits ec2 instances different ec2 instance purchasing options and placement groups practicals to be covered setting up an aws account module 2 amazon ec2 this module talks about the introduction to the compute offering from aws called ec2 we will cover different amazon amis This also includes a demo on launching an AWS EC2 instance, connecting to an instance and hosting a website on the AWS EC2 instance. Topics: Amazon AMI, demo on AMI creation, security groups, key pairs, various tenancy options, elastic IP versus public IP, and the practicals to be covered are launching a free tier Linux instance as well as a Windows instance. Module 3: Storage Services and AWS CLI. In this module you can learn about the different storage services offered by AWS and how they can be tra- used to transfer data from one place to another topics traditional storage tiers disadvantages of traditional storage over cloud AWS storage options EBS S3 Glacier AWS connecting storage Snowball and storage gateway and AWS command line interface practicals to be covered are restoring an amazon ebs volume from a snapshot hosting a website on amazon s3 deploying an on premises gateway running commands in aws cli module 4 virtual private cloud and direct connect this module deals with the introduction to amazon virtual private cloud it will help you understand how you can make public and private subnets with aws vpc along with a demo on creating vpc This module will also provide an overview of AWS Direct Connect topics subnet and subnet mask VPC and its benefits default and non default VPC components of VPC and Direct Connect practicals to be covered building a non default VPC and launching an instance in it module 5 database services in this module you can learn about the different database services offered by AWS to deal with structured and unstructured data topics different database services of aws amazon rds dynamo db redshift elastic cache practicals to be covered creating a mysql db instance creating table and running query in dynamo db launching a redshift cluster module 6 elastic load balancing and auto scaling this module will help you learn the concepts of scaling and load distribution techniques in aws This module also includes a demo around load distribution and scaling your resources horizontally based on time or activity topics components and types of load balancing auto scaling and its benefits the life cycle of auto scaling components and policies of auto scaling 
practicals to be covered are working with elastic load balancer maintaining i availability with auto scaling module 7 route 53 and management tools this module deals with route 53 and the different management tools which covers monitoring aws resources setting up alerts and notification for aws resources and aws usage billing with aws cloudwatch topics overview of route 53 management tools cloud trail cloud watch cloud formation and trusted advisors the practicals to be covered are routing traffic to aws resources through route 53 enabling cloud trail log delivery to an s3 bucket setting up a billing alert creating stack and deploying it in cloud formation <coughs> module 8 application services aws lambda and elastic beanstalk This module deals with Route 53 and the different management tools which covers monitoring AWS resources, setting up alerts and notifications for AWS resources and AWS usage billing with AWS CloudWatch. Topics: Overview of Route 53, Management Tools, Cloud Trail, CloudWatch, Cloud Formation and Trusted Advisor. Practicals to be covered are routing traffic to AWS resources through Route 53, enabling cloud trail, log delivery to an S3 bucket, setting up a billing alert, creating stack and deploying it in cloud formation. Module 9, OpsWorks, Security and Identity Services. Through this module, you can understand how OpsWorks, the various component of OpsWorks and how to create chef recipes for OpsWorks. You can also learn how to achieve distribution of access control with AWS using IAM. Topics: Benefits, Features and Components of OpsWorks, Benefits of Chef, Cookbook, Recipes, Ops Work Lifecycle, Events, Security and Identity Services, IAM and KMS. Practicals to be covered are creating a OpsWorks stack and deploy an app in the stack, creating an IAM user in AWS account. encrypt data stored in an s3 bucket using an encryption key module 10 project discussion mock test this module is primarily a demo of an aws project using a real life case study it also has a question and answer session to prepare learners for aws certification the topics covered are hands on workshop q and a and overview of the aws certification we provide multiple real time projects in each course So VPC is one of the example of real time project in AWS curriculum. Thank you very much.